today we're just like trying to, re we're creating a city here pretty much, and we're trying to like use our directions we learned in our units instead of taking a test, and we're trying to like show how we learned this in a fun way, like pretty much by making a city, and we took our monuments and everything and our vocab, and we just pretty much built a city. At first we tried painting it, but that did not work. It was like destroying the paper. So we took electrical tape and we started to like put it down and we started trying it. And it was like a whole bunch of trial and error. And then mostly the Ozobot started to stop. And so we started working and working with it and it just came out to what we have here. The um, vocab helped a lot with all the cities and everything. It helped me remember a lot of things. It's a lot better than taking a test, I would say. But I really liked the project. It really helped us learn with our vocab because most of the cities we were like, Sometimes we just really don't get it, and then with this and like actually working with it, it actually helped us a lot. I went to Jillian, our tech integrator at our school, and I was like, I want to do something interesting with Unit 6. All the other units have an exciting project except this one. You know, we do directions, we do places, we do uh, invitation vocab, and she was like, I have a brilliant idea. <laughs> and they brought these robots and she said it would be great if they did a city and it went around and I was like that's a brilliant idea so with learning another language one way of cementing that language in your mind is learning a tertiary language on top of that so the fact that they had to think in French to use coding and listen to French and speak French in order to use coding which is another type of language it really brought the whole thing full circle. It really helped them cement directions in learning. I have confidence if they were to go to France right now and someone were to give them maybe a 10-step directions, they would be able to get to where they needed to go. We're using our Unit 6 project. In Unit 6 we have many places like such as a hotel, a hospital. We have our house, shopping centers as well. Well, you have to display all of these in the project in order to get a good grade and a good example of how it's going to look. An Ozobot is a small little robot. It kind of looks like a toy, but they're really delicate to use. They traveled around our city and our streets with coatings. The colors were red, blue, and green, and black as the streets. They traveled, and in order to see if your cities and your coding was successful, you placed him at the beginning at a starting point, and with the coding, he was supposed to be able to travel around and get to the other destination. I say I'm making